Something that we like to do when we, um, the start of Des Tech every year is kind of have a, what I call a year in review with Waz and talk about what he's been doing since he was here last at Des Tech. So I thought I would just bring up a few highlights. One is, I know you've been around the, well, you're always around the country. Every day, I feel like he's in another country. But you did some conferences around robotics this year. Yeah. And uh, that's exciting because we have David Hansen here from Hansen Robotics. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I even attend the World Robo Cup when I can, just on my own. Oh, very yeah. nice. I'm surprised you get but any time to yourself. The, the ro robots that look kind of, you know, humanoid, they kind of walk slowly. They're, they're the slow ones, but. Exciting. Yeah, and then the fast ones that are on motors and wheels. But I think that robotics so highly because I participated in FIRST Robotics for a long time, and I've been an educator and I care about students in young school, K-12 schools, and FIRST Robotics is for high schoolers to build these human-sized robots that play games and carry big blocks around and push things through holes and do all that kind of stuff. And what I like is not the game, not watching how ro what robots can do, but meeting the teams backstage, I would be a judge. So instead of watching the robotics, you go back into the pits and you talk to the young students and find out how they're getting inspired about engineering. Those are the most important awards to me. And that got me very interested. And robotics involves so many disciplines of engineering. From it involves some some hardware engineering, you know, right. mechanical engineering type techniques and knowing forces and what works in this. And it involves um, it involves motors and then motor control is electronics. How do you get enough motor, enough power to make your Tesla go fast, you know? And it, inv it involves microprocessors and radio signals, radio connections and programming. So it really covers the gamut and, uh, and that's a good way to learn how to be a builder. So, so Waz, what I'm hearing is that you actually were out having some fun. I thought you were working this whole time, but that's okay, we'll have to have some fun. <laughs> so, so another thing I wanna talk about that's very exciting is you just had a big announcement recently on a project that's very near and dear to your heart, F-Force. And so before we talk about that, I wanna share with everyone um, a little presentation on F-Force. In the last 10 years, energy consumption increased exponentially worldwide due to an ever-growing population. This has contributed significantly to climate change and the extreme consequences on our environment. Therefore, improving productivity while reducing energy consumption is the answer. This is energy efficiency. We created F-Force, the first decentralized platform that allows you to participate and to benefit from worldwide energy efficiency projects. Thanks to blockchain technology, F-Force will improve the way we use energy, enabling a meaningful change. Our idea is so simple that with the right push, it will make a tangible impact for everyone. This push can't be a single person's battle. It needs to come from all of us together to compound its effect in such a way it becomes a reality over our lifespan. Can we lower the energy consumption without changing our habits? This is our mission. This is F-Force. So this is an incredible project, our, our initiative that you're launching, and I find it incredibly interesting because it's on blockchain, which is up and it's trending but all it's, over It's not technology. like a cyber currency where you're just investing in a security. It's more like tokens that represent ownership of a company that is already making good money. It's a conservative financial right. But the bigger, approach. the bigger goal with it is really the ability to extract carbon out of the air and, yeah. and the passion well, for... Well, leading, leading like it's ongoing companies into finance finding the ways to do that. Become is, more energy is, efficient. Is right. the big deal. And I like so, that it's, it's very novel and new and using blockchain in a country that wants to really have the regulation and the government, everything behind it. I'd like being with the new, everybody talks blockchain, blockchain, blockchain for the last decade, but there are very few examples of where it works. And right. uh, finally, we've got a structure where you can have it like exchanges, even stock exchanges that can carry digital tokens. So I like being involved in the, the new trends. The ones as soon as they look like they're going to have some success. Well, and the upside to that is it's got a tremendous impact on the environment. So there's a lot of good behind it, and that's what we're really excited about. And your team, F Force, all the way from Italy, is here tonight. So welcome, welcome. Excited about that. 
So, so speaking of blockchain, we have another initiative that we're very excited about in education, and we are working with a local blockchain company here, and that would be Nexus Blockchain, and they're out here too, that group, so I, somewhere out there, <laughs> Nexus. That, but, so keep your ears open, in the next couple of months we'll be announcing that big project, we're really excited about it. So. Um, so, uh, that's kind of a, our, our snap in a year review, but something else that I really like to do is share something with the audience about you that they don't necessarily know that's not Apple. And so, um, as I was thinking back about all of the many things, um, the one thing that came to mind was Atari. And you had a really big hand in a game called Breakout for Atari. And so, let's just talk about that for a little bit. Sure, Atari meant more to my life than that. Here was a company in Los Gatos, California, where I live now, starting an entire industry called arcade games. And look how huge it's become. That was a big impact on my life. And the uh, first time I was in a bowling alley, and there's all these pinball games for 10 cents. And here's a pawn game for 25 cents, and it was on a television. Yes. And I kicked myself. Oh, my God, I taught myself how to design computer processors, but input output I could never afford. Teletype would cost as much as a couple of cars. Uh, television for the output. Everybody owns a TV, it's free. So I said, I'm gonna make my own Pong game. And got excited just for fun, building these things. And Steve Jobs came in town and he saw it and ran down to Atari and showed them. And eventually they wanted a one player Pong game and picked me to design it. Now these were the days when a new arcade game was hundreds of these little things called chips, thousands of wires that an engineer like myself, skilled engineer, hooks up, tests, gets working, and it would take half a year to make a game or something. Four days and nights was all I had to do it in. No sleep. And it was breakout, where you hit the ball against the bricks and break through. Many of you have seen that. Yeah, so I designed it in four days and nights. No sleep. And you kind of saved the day for Atari, because they really were looking to, um, to, to showcase that game. Well. Actually, more than that, the owner of Atari really knew that I designed things with fewer and fewer parts than anyone else. Yeah. Any engineer, I trained myself my whole life to figure out tricky ways to use fewer parts. So instead of being 150 chips, they wanted to gain low, low number chips, and mine was 45. Wow. I so, was proud of that. So on that note, I have a surprise for you tonight. I want to invite Fred Chenet, CEO of Atari. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here. I would That's like to share something with you that isn't often told. My Apple II computer, which was the, the only successful product of Apple for the first 10 years of Apple, was not just a great computer. I believed in games so much and loved them. And while I was down at Atari, I thought, wouldn't it be neat if these games were ever color? They were all black and white. My Apple II computer was the first time ever arcade games were color, and the first time ever they were software, so a nine-year-old kid could write a good game with moving colored things on a screen in one day. This was a huge step for games. Thank you, Nation. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. So Fred and I got into some conversations a couple of weeks ago, and in the world of esports, which is just trending and online gaming, Atari has been so iconic and really that game console leader. I, mean, I, I don't know how many of y'all, but I know many of you have probably had that Atari or you played a game on Atari, and so. Fred, tell us, what is the future of Atari? So, <laughs> we're still making games, of course, that's the DNA of the company. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I recognize that Atari means software and also means hardware. So what we've done with the, the support of early backers, but I would like to thank you, we've uh, created a new console that we will launch next year. So I have here, you know, one sample. I'm not going to give it to you, but I have another gift for you. <laughs> so, but we have, um, yeah, you know, we, I can show it. It's, it's in a big case, but it's uh, on the one end, it's a machine that comes with a store where you will have games, multimedia content, and of course, streaming. Uh, at the same time, it is also a PC that will be customizable. Should I take a picture? Yeah, you can take a picture. <laughs> okay, makes sense. So this is the the nice. prototype of the it's, it's a Atari working machine. Yeah, yeah, it's a working it's machine. So we have uh, two, two sides, but it's, it's a gaming console and a PC at the same time. So and uh, we have reinvented also the joystick because it comes with controller joysticks. Can so I play it on the monitor right now? You should, yeah, this one is working. It's not powered, but yes, it's working. Yeah, what a surprise. On that note, for those of you that are not able to see it up close, we'll share with you what this looks like. 
Thank you. Atari on. More than 40 years ago, Atari opened a portal into our living rooms with the Atari 2600. Now, we're ready to reopen that portal and introduce a brand new Atari product, inspired by the past, but created, designed, and engineered for today. Introducing the Atari VCS. That's exciting. So, so, so tell us, what's the future of Atari? You're launching a brand new console. New console, and then, and what, you know. what game will be on here? So, of course, we would have Breakout <laughs> and Pong. <laughs> that would be a special edition. But I was very glad to see you know, listed as the, with the credit of lead designer on the game. So, obviously, why we, I'm, very so, I'm very happy in, in that to present the console to you and to be here. So, because you cannot keep it, I'm just going to, uh, to give you a gift, which is, I'm sure, some, I hope, something you will like. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a special hat. You can, you can open it. That's, that's for you. Should I put it? I'm not going to put it on now, I don't think. Let's see. You never know. What? It's, open it. It's a special oh. hat. With, um, it's a Bluetooth connected hat with speakers oh, in the brain. Oh, it's not in the shape of a dunce hat, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It's a Bluetooth connected hat. Oh. Oh my gosh, they talk about wearables. Yeah. With speaker, the speakers are in the brim, so you can just listen to any music. Oh my gosh. And you can take any phone, any phone call, any oh, conference call. Right here. It's black, of course. Yeah. <laughs> You're all set. All set for the end of the year. I Thank you. All right. yeah. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Thank you, for Thank you very tonight. much. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks. That's for you. Wow. I'm sure we're going to get one of these over to Waz, though, as soon as they hit the market. I was hoping he'd get it backwards. Let me keep that one. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you, Fred. great. So, on that note, <laughs> that was exciting. Yeah. Did I surprise you? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I thought you would enjoy I want to share more stories, Atari and all. Well, we're going to get all night. We have all night, yeah. so you and Fred can have some conversations and, and go back. So one of the things that Waz and I um, work I, on. I, I, one question. I hope that Atari is doing something in Arizona. Well, Fred, I hope. Atari will be doing something in Arizona, Waz says. He hopes. Mm -hmm. I think we've got big plans. That's all, yeah.